How's it going, guys? So, last time in the previous episode, we did manage to push up to 500% in rage. However, on the way, you guys will probably remember that we did get our first orb drop at Telos. Now, this was our first rare drop as well, other than the pet, and I was absolutely buzzing. It was amazing, and that dream that I've had of completing a Telos orb set since pff, even like a year ago, learning this boss and not being able to do it at all, pretty much became like a thing that could be reality. So, of course, in this episode, this is where we're going to be starting off and we are going to be getting straight into Telos and seeing if our luck can get even any better. However, as always, guys, I just wanted to remind you that a lot of you that are watching this series are not yet subscribed. So if you are enjoying it, then make sure to subscribe because I will continue to be making these episodes in the future and also other RuneScape content as well. So make sure to subscribe and... Of course, without wasting any more time, let's see how Telos went. So this streak was started at 0%, however this okay. is probably about 4 or 5 kills in, we'll see in a second, because I completely forgot to start recording, but it doesn't matter too much as any drops from this point uh, from 0% till now is probably not even that big of a deal to show you guys, so I've just saved you some time. I was very excited to see how many kills I could get in one streak, so I did decide that I was going to just do this until I either got something that I absolutely had to claim, or until I died. So, whichever one comes first, and that's what we'll do. So, let's go ahead and see how this went. You'll notice that I did miss recording a couple of clips, so there is a slight jump up to kill 24, but let's continue on. There is our second orb. This is literally the freaking first streak that I did after getting the other orb. Literally one streak, 26 kills and 302% rage. I am getting incredibly lucky with this and I'm, I'm just so happy that I've got it. But second orb already let's uh, get that claimed and let's move on to the next one holy crap what what the fuck okay so why the frick did i just click continue challenge i did not mean to do that i think i was in such a sort of shock and like so buzzing that i've even got it this soon i just Got in the habit of pressing continue challenge. I wasn't expecting it. I was like freaking shaking that I got it. And I just pressed continue challenge. Now, as soon as I did this, I did as much as I could to try and figure out what I'd done. I regretted it straight away. I went to try and check my loot to see if I could claim it. You can't. You have to take the fight. So I panicked. I was stressing. But... I got all my gear together, I took some soul flacrities, which for you guys that don't know what this is, it's an item that acts as a sign of life, but in your inventory. I took that with me, and I came prepared, and this is what happened. Luckily, I was able to get through this kill pretty easily. I didn't sign, and I didn't need my soul flacrity. However, this was probably the most intense Telos kill that I've ever done. I was noticing every little mistake, and I was stressing the whole time. But all went well, we got the orb, and there is our second Telos drop. I didn't record the actual kill because I didn't want to lose any frames or crash or kill the client somehow. It happens sometimes, and it just wasn't worth the risk. So I do apologise that I only recorded it from here on claiming the loot. Didn't we just see Telos? Didn't we just see loads of Telos? Well, you did, but unfortunately, guys, after I got this second orb, there wasn't really much else that I wanted to do. I really, really wanted to finish this orb set, and I came to the decision that I was going to sit at Telos, and I was going to grind it out, and I was going to push as much of the streaks as I could until I finally got that orb, and hopefully I would get it before I waste away pretty much a full week and not get the video uploaded. But this is what happened on the next streak and, well, just take a look. 
So we built up to around about 24, 25 kills again, and this was going pretty well. Like, I was surprised at how easy I was finding the kills and stuff, and I was had a pretty good feeling about it. Obviously, we got an orb on 26 kills last time, but I do not expect this to happen again, because that's pretty damn lucky. However, I was getting into the sort of area where I could sort of expect better drops, and then this happened. My internet decided to give up on life. It just crashed, and obviously, Getting disconnected for about 7 seconds at Telos is pretty much just a death. And, pff, well, I came back and we claimed the loot. I was I was not happy with this. So, this has been happening for the last few days and it really put a lot of sort of worry on other streaks. But, you guys know me, I don't give up. I've died a million times at Telos before and it's not going to stop me. So, let's get back and at least get a decent streak built up ready for the next episode. Okay, so Telos is taking up a lot of this video, and I do apologise, but there's a good reason why. Now, this is the next streak where I was literally wanting to get another streak build up ready for the next episode so that I could come back and push it up and see how far we could go with it just for like the beginning of it. However, this is what we got. We got a freaking dormant Seren Godbow drop. We got another item in the... the third streak I think this was and I was happy about it but I did continue to streak it on to see if I could keep my enrage however it got quite a bit far up and I decided to claim it so that was a good cash boost and I was very happy about it but I decided to hang on to it and see if eventually I could make this into a full bow but let's go back finish off our streak get it built up a little bit and just get it ready for the next episode and then we'll move on to our next thing What? What? As if I've just got my last orb on 169% enrage on a 6 kill streak. What the frick is this luck? I cannot believe how lucky I've been at this boss. Holy crap, we've managed to do a full orb set and a bow in around about 85 kills. I have done so long on trying to learn this boss and I literally have about 309 kill count at this point and that is ridiculous to be able to get a full set and that done in that drop rate. Not only to mention we got the pet. That is such a massive gold boost. Holy crap. I cannot believe that we got this and well that is just amazing. Well, it's been a ridiculous video for making gold. It's all been Telos and I do apologise, but I'm sure you can understand that there's a lot that I really couldn't have left out and I had to show you guys. Otherwise, you're probably going to be wondering, where the frick did he get 900 mil from? So, I did make the bow and I have sold it off. It sold for around about 865 mil, I do believe, but you guys will see that on screen now anyway. And then I went on a shopping spree. It was time to get all the gear I wanted to get. It was time to get perks and time to just spend a hell of a lot of money. So now we'll see what I got. So what did I end up spending the gold on? Well, 900 mil is pretty much what I had to work with. I have put 100 mil aside as I want to be able to save that for maybe flipping or just in case I need it in emergencies. I've bought some Boston supplies as well. So other than that, basically what you can see in my inventory is where the money's gone. Now, I have got myself all the tier 90s now. I have range, melee, and mage. My range is in the bank, my ascensions. Um, however, I still only have the offhand glaive. 
that is because I tested and it, it doesn't really benefit me all that much to get the offhand ascension just yet, but I'll probably will get it at some point in the near future. Anyway, I bought a Noxious Scythe and I have put perks in that as well. And I've also got Masterwork Armor for my melee armor and I've perked that up as well. We've got um, plenty of decent perks in here. I did get help on getting these, so I do know that I've not completely wasted my money on it because I'm pretty clueless of how perks work. I have upgraded my tier 85 wand into the seismic wand and I also got a seismic singularity and this is gonna allow me to start and learn for ticking which I am starting to do and it's something that I will need to practice quite a bit and we do have the perks from that in there so we've got planted feet and aftershock and on there we've got precise six also we have Upgraded the perks in our tectonic robes and we've managed to get a little bit of extra there. Now this is all stuff that has gone a long way to allowing me to do other content now. I'm going to be able to do things like elite dungeons is something I want to look into doing next. I have had someone called Wazza who has helped me learn elite dungeons and he showed me elite dungeons 2 in a previous episode and today we went to the elite dungeons 3 and we did manage to get a few kills there as well. So this is something that I'm going to start learning to try and solo once I've got a bit more experience in it and I'm looking forward to doing quite a lot in the future. Right guys, I'm going to end the video here because that is a lot of stuff to take in and there's a lot of progression in this video. I do understand that it was pretty much just a tell us video, however, that is a massive lot of difference towards getting other content unlocked and look forward to the next episode having a lot of different stuff in it. So hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, then obviously leave a like so it gets suggested to other people as well and it also lets me know that you did enjoy it. And as always, if you did enjoy the series, guys, and you're not subscribed yet, then hit that subscribe button because it will literally help me out a hell of a lot. And you won't miss out on other episodes because they are going to be coming and they're not going to be stopped in a pr pretty long time, I'd say. We're still waiting to hear on God Wars Dungeon 3 from Jagex, so let's see how that goes. Next episode, loads of more bossing and learning on soloing ED3s, things like that. As always, though, guys, thanks for watching. Really do appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one. See you later, guys. Bye.